this week's About Your Retirement, we're talking about how to celebrate the holidays with a family member who lives in an assisted living center. Jim McWhorter is here now to talk to us about this. Good morning. How are you today? Great. How are you? Good, thank you. Now, how do you celebrate with loved ones who are in assisted living centers? Well, you know, Amy, um, life is about change. It brings about change. So uh, we know that families change, families grow. But because of that, uh, holiday traditions many times have to be adjusted to be able to include loved ones who may reside in assisted living or retirement community settings. Uh, some may not even be able to travel conveniently anymore because of health issues. But uh, the important thing is that uh, families adjust, they adapt so that they can stay together and they can celebrate the holidays for as long as they possibly can so that families stay united and include everyone. Um, and, and I think something even more important to consider when, when those who are faced with this situation is a follow-up after the holidays. There's a lot of, what do they call it, hustle and bustle yeah. during the holidays. And, uh, but after that, it's kind of a letdown for those who uh, may be confined to uh, the place they live now. And so you need to have as many family members over the next several weeks to uh, plan visits and things. Now, what about for people who don't have family members? A lot of people in these centers don't have any family. Well, that's true. And uh, also very sad is uh, we see a certain percentage of residents of assisted living communities in particular who have family members that do not visit them very often at all and some not at all and so their family are the other residents uh, in the community you know in the, the holiday season it's about sharing giving uh, being thankful uh, I encourage everyone to get involved uh, either with a church group with a senior center or something to help those uh, who may not have loved ones to visit them. There are so many things you can do. You can call your local or area uh, assisted living community and get names of residents. Find out from activity directors and all how you can help. And uh, even if you just take your children and, and let them go and sing or, or take a card and present it and, and visit with someone. Um, there are also some of the communities put on special things, the holidays, and so you may want to call and see about that. I know that at uh, Teal Ridge Independent Living that's on Northeast 140th and uh, Eastern, right near, near the uh, Oklahoma Christian University campus, uh, they're having a special Christmas Day lunch from 11 to 1, and anybody that doesn't have a family or a place to go is uh, invited to that. And you can get more information on that at uh, seniorlivingokc.com. Okay, thanks so much for joining us. Nobody wants to feel alone, especially during uh, the holidays. Absolutely. And tune in every Sunday morning at this time to learn more about retirement issues and elderly living.